gentlemen, Michael Palmazano here, and my wife Annie and I are getting ready to go to Playing in the Sand to see Dead & Company in Mexico next weekend. Looks like it's going to happen. So, they announced the other artists, one of whom is Margot Price. Now, I've reacted to one Margot Price tune is when she did uh, Unwed Fathers with John Prine. You guys know how I feel about John Prine. Uh, and that was a tremendous performance. So I went on and Googled Margot Price live, you know, did the, you know, one that had the most views and it was hurting on the bottle, right? And so this is from SNL and I'm just going to hit the button. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Margot Ooh, Price. Look who it is. Straight up old school country. Is that the bass player that used to play with Sturgill Simpson in the back? Drop it in the comments. All right, this is straight ahead old school country, just like we like it. Um, you got a drinking song, putting a hurting on the bottle. You got a one, four, five. There is a little bit of a different change in here that I'm gonna point out. Let me show you what's going on. Shout out to the pedal steel in the back. I hear you, I hear you. And Margo, smooth as silk. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, Margot Price. I put on the so right off the bat, songs in G. But we're coming in on the four, four chord, which is C major. So that's the thing. So we're starting on the four. Baby, no. I love the driving students. Just again, it just reminds me of Sturgill that uh, you know trying to keep it between the lines, whatever that track or the long white line. You know, drinking, driving. You know, <laughs> it's a country tune. I love it. So again, one four five in the key of G. When it goes to the verse, it does a quick five, four, one, right? That kind of thing. Alright, so cool thing that happens here uh, before it goes to the chorus, call this the pre-chorus. It goes to A minor to C major. So you got a two to a four in the key of G. Let me go back, see if I can find, see if I can get where it is here. And then check it out. Now you got a hard 2 5, so it's functioning. So your A minor turns into A major, A7. The key note here is the third, C to C sharp, which of course is our leading tone, back to D major, which is the chord that follows it. So functioning 2 5. So A7, 2, D7, 2, 1. So watch it. Listen to this little change. Sounds great. That don't touch, put on me. 
Now, when you're going through here, right, your basic groove with the band is minimalist. She's doing these big open kind of cowboy chords, right? And so you got the... And you got the bass going root, fifth, root, fifth, root, fifth. And then you got the guitar doing the uh, chicks, as you call them, right? So you got the... So you got the And now you can watch for your different versions. Make sure you stay out of the pedal steel or the keys if they're in there. Um, but that's your basic groove. You are with the hi-hat. And so the bass is doing the kick. Boom, 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 boom. And the guitars are doing the snare. So, doom, ksh, doom, chick, right? The two and the four. That's your basic groove. And you're really just settling back trying to be in support of a killer country singer-songwriter. Love this key splash. Been looking for a peak inside the valley. Been searching for a key outside your door. It sounds great. Now put a hurting on the bottom. Yeah, drummer. Watch this drop. Now put a hurting on the bottom. So you, it's like a triple flam, right? So you got snare, low tom, and kick. Blah. It's like three hits. It's a, it's a triple flam. Carrying that across the bar. Killer song. Band is really settling in here. Uh, I love it. She got excited too. She jumped that D a little bit. All right, let's go back. Let me get some of this uh, guitar solo for all this all you guitar players out there wondering what the hell is he playing over this. So here we go. Get what you get. Hit his little boost. Come in on that E. What I'm doing here is I'm just assuming you're in the key of G. Here's our G, here's our tonic, that we're gonna be, you know. In there, right? So you got major sixth, here's your, here's your G. Yeah. So again, here's your nine, bending three or flat three, approaching your four there, or, or approaching your major third. The, uh, 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 uh. Okay, yeah, 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 all right. Because remember, we're on our four chord right here. So this is the major third of C. The solo comes in on that four. We're at the next. So what you have here is you're on your four, is your major third, fifth, sixth of your four chord. Now what he does is he goes back over to the fourth string, slides from flat three to three, and gets this piece of G major. Again, it's all we're doing here. Third and fifth of, of C, there's your anchor, your tonic, and then third and root of your G. And then he does this walk down, double step. So all I'm doing here is 
is educated guessing. There's this dyad. I'm hearing that it's two notes going down. And because I know the sound of this sound, I hear this. I know that's a flat seven all day, right? So I know you're thinking, oh, it's a one, four, five and G, right? You're gonna have an F sharp, not an F. But it's country, man. You can mix the flat seven in anywhere you want, just like the flat three, as long as it's behind, because the higher note, the higher third always wins. So doing a little, right? And then you take it right down. So I'm assuming it's gonna go um, root, flat seven, uh, sorry, submit <laughs> root, flat seven, six, five. Yeah. So, piece of G major, piece of F major, piece of C major, piece of B flat major, grab the nine of G, A. Eh? From the flat three, your pre-bend, down, open G. And we're just, we're just going down in key. So in G, if you think about it, third and root, fifth and flat seven, fourth and major sixth, flat seven and fifth, tug and go. Yeah. What does he do here? Yeah. Yeah. Love this. So now, here's your five chord, right? You got this. Remember, always be third hunting. The third creates function more than any other note. So in the chord. So right here, he's 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 he knows the five is coming. So right, he's and here's the root of the five. Here's D. So what's he do? Slides up. One, two, three. Forget about your scales. Don't get lost here. Just think one, two, three if you get turned around. That F sharp, right? That's the third of your five chord. So he might have been flat sevening all day, you know, that. When you get to the five, hit that major third. Your third hunting. You hit the third, you're gonna get the function of the chord. So he's shooting right for it, right? Yeah. Does he get that? Does he pull on that? Flat three? No, no, it's on the nine. So you got, but you're still kind of pre-bending into that flat three. So you're making it. Yeah. And then you just walk up. Right, you're just in G major. Sorry. <laughs> just knowing your dyads. And then when he gets to the four, he's gonna cut out and let the piano take over. Straight ahead, on it, gets it, sells it, perfect. Love how the band drops. Running high on low expectations. Go on. Drummer's on it. That was a great lift.
Okay. All right. I know that I focus heavily on bands and the musicianship because I'm trying to teach. You get it, right? She is a killer country singer, a singer in general. But 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 the inflection, the how it carries over the bar line, the slow draw into the next note, the back and away from the microphone, like you know the blend. Margo, I'm gonna be seeing you down in Mexico. Really looking forward to it. Um, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. One four five. Watch out for that A minor to C changing to it, that hard 2 5, that um, A7 to D7. Little things like that really make a tune pop, really draws you into the chorus. And if, let's say, you're going to take a lead over that and something happens and you're like, oh my God, what happens during the. C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, C sharp. It's functioning, right? So functioning means. It's dominant, right? It means it resolves, which means the third of that chord resolves up a half step to the root of the chord you're resolving to. So C sharp to D. That's it. So you can be in this. Uh, what chords it go to? So it's so like. Right? It's just, you're seeing, get away from it for a second so it doesn't sound so chromatic if you choose, right? But then when you come back to the land of C, C sharp that bad boy, and then drop it into D, and then ride home free. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Uh, if you dig the vibe of this channel, you can tell it's a little bit different. Uh, I hope you subscribe. I hope you share and tell your friends. And if you're interested about my courses and my teaching and my website and everything else I have going on that supports this channel, it's the first link in the description. I'd love to have you. It's called GuitarGate. It's only 10 bucks and it makes all this possible. That's it. Cheers. And uh, let me know in the comments if you're going to be down there in Mexico. See you soon. Looking forward to it.